Hi guys, I thought maybe you would like to see the foods that I make on the weekend to prepare for the week. So I usually bake some things for breakfast, snacks, and then I individually wrap snacks for my boys. And then on Monday when I go grocery shopping, I always wash all of our fruit and if it needs to be cut, I go ahead and cut it and um, individually wrap that as well. So here I have some bacon and egg muffins. This is actually the first time I've ever tried this recipe, but I thought they would be great for my boys for breakfast. You can freeze them and then thaw them in the refrigerator and just pop them in the oven in the morning and they can have a filling breakfast. So I will put the links for all of the things that I'm going to show you below in case you want to try any of these. John did try one. As you can see, one is missing, and he thought it was really good. Now that the muffins have cooled, I individually wrapped each one in a small piece of aluminum foil and put them in freezer bags. I did keep out some. This will be enough for two days for my boys so that um, they're already thawed. And I went ahead and made some granola. So I have a big bowl of granola for them to eat through the week. And we have things they can add in here like coconut or cranberries. They aren't really big on nuts, but you can always have nuts in there or whatever you like. I had some really ripe bananas. So for snacks, one of the things that I am making is banana snack cake. And I'm about to pop that in the oven now. Here is the banana snack cake, and I'm just going to let this cool before I cut it. Also for snacks for my guys, I made some granola bars. These are cranberry coconut granola bars. The recipe that will be linked below will be for chocolate chip granola bars, but you can really add any topping. I try to mix it up each week because I tend to make these every week because they're very simple and my guys like them, and you can really add whatever you want and you know make something different each week. Okay, so I have my snacks divided. I have some veggie chips and things in here that I put in individual sandwich bags so they can grab for their lunches. I made the granola bars like I showed earlier and I cut these into 12 bars. I've been cutting them a little larger because I have teenagers and then I just put each one in a sandwich bag so they can grab these. Um, these were left from the last time I baked. Once the banana snack cake is done cooling, I'm going to cut it and wrap it each individual piece in plastic wrap and I'll put that in there as well and that just will be easier for everybody to grab for their lunches or snacks. And then I went ahead and made some hummus for myself to have for lunches or snacks for the week and this is the last thing I'm going to make. I'm also going to cut some carrots and cucumbers and this took me about two hours to do all of this and clean up. Okay, so I got everything all set for my guys. Um, they have the uh, egg and turkey bacon muffins, granola. We also have some cereal. And then for myself, I'll just have my usual smoothies or some gluten-free rolled oats with some blueberries and pumpkin seeds. For snacks, I have their chips um, all bagged up. And then I also have granola bars and the banana snack cake all wrapped so they can just grab those and then for myself I usually snack on fruit or pumpkin seeds or almonds or whatever um, so I just leave that and I can get that easily for myself. I have some fruit left over from last week and that was already washed um, when I went to the grocery store so that's all set. I will definitely be adding to that tomorrow and I'll show you how I wash everything and um, bag it up. I'm not sure which fruits I'm going to get yet but I'll show you how I do that. I did cut some cucumbers and carrots for my hummus that I'll be having um, for lunches and snacks. I need to get some more. I bought the last bag of uh, organic carrots at Trader Joe's. Then my fridge is nice and clean and straightened up and I have some string cheese here. I bought two huge packs at Aldi and I didn't want my kids to eat it all so it's actually in the back of the refrigerator and I just take out like 12 per week so that it will last so I did that. Um, I have sandwich stuff which my husband likes for his lunches and then I had some of these rolls in the freezer um, and Christian likes his sandwiches on rolls so a couple days my kids will take sandwiches so I took those out to thaw and then um, for their lunches on other days they're going to take like pasta with um, 
garlic and parmesan and stuff so I have everything to make that in the morning and then a couple days they might take um, macaroni and cheese and I just make it really quickly on the stove top so I have the cheese and milk and butter and everything for that that's really quick and easy so we are all set and I will show you how I get all of our fruit ready tomorrow and I'll just add that right into this video I just got back from the grocery store and put all of my groceries away and this is all of the produce that I need to wash, and some of it I will need to cut as well. And this is the stuff that I had left over that from last week that's already washed. So I have a bowl for fruit here, and then this will be for vegetables and stuff. These are tomatillos, and I'm not going to wash those until I use them because they have this papery husk, and I just don't want them to go bad. So that's kind of how I keep my fruit. Everything that I put in individual containers, like grapes and cantaloupe, is going to go in the fridge in a drawer, and I've shown that in other videos, and I'll show you when I'm done. So I have it all set up. I have my um, containers that I'm going to use for grapes and cantaloupe here. I have a towel out for drying, you know, the peppers and things like that. I think all of this is organic, so I really don't have to worry about getting rid of pesticides or anything. Um, I'm just going to wash the dirt off, and plus, you know, people are touching things while they're, you know, grabbing their cantaloupe or whatever, so I like to just wash everything. Okay, so first I just take the stickers off. I'll spare you the hideous noise from the uh, gloves. I guess they could have recorded without the gloves. I'm a little obsessed. Um, so basically, I just wash everything really well and just scrub it and then lay it on the towel that I have sitting over, which you can't see. And then once I've washed all of the vegetables, I just go ahead and dry it all and put it in the vegetable bowl. For my cherry tomatoes, I just dump them into a colander and just rinse these really well. Put a little bit of vinegar in. Some people do that. I can always taste it no matter how much I rinse it. So um, it will help prevent mold if you want to do that or just rinse everything really well. And because these are organic and we're in a package, no one was really touching them. So I'm not super worried about that. And then I just pour these onto the towel and dry them really well before I put them in a bowl. So all of this is washed and dried and it's here on the table. I don't have a huge uh, kitchen as you know so I have very limited um, counter space but this you know works for me to have these two large bowls on the table. One for vegetables and one for fruit. And then I just washed our green onions and made sure I dried those really well. I have them in a Ziploc bag with a cloth napkin to absorb any of the moisture in there. So I'm going to stick these in the refrigerator. I have my cucumber and carrots all washed for my hummus. I'm only going to wash about half the bag of carrots and I will do the other half when I use it because I'm not sure when I will... Um, need those. Um, so these are all washed and I'm going to cut these for my hummus for this week. And then I have my apples and peaches here. I just need to remove the stickers. And then I do the same thing where I just, you know, scrub each one individually and then lay it on a towel to dry it really well. So I just wash each one of these and then put them over here on this towel. bit of work it really doesn't take that long but it just helps um, but it just helps to not have to do it every day when you go to grab a fruit and you know how kids are they don't always wash it so um it just makes it a lot easier i would say all of this um including like cutting everything is probably going to take me about a half an hour so it doesn't take too long So 
So all of our apples and peaches from this week are in there. I took out the fruit that was in there from last week and made sure I put that on the top so that will get eaten right away. And we have no problem going through fruit in our house. So um, I just wanted to make sure, you know, this plum wasn't at the bottom of the bowl. And now I'm going to work on the grapes. So these are all washed and I took them off the vine. It just makes it a lot easier to put in the containers. It doesn't take up as much room when you take them off the vine. And then I just pour them, I can't see, I just pour them on a towel and that way I can dry them before I put them in the container. So I just make sure they're, they're pretty dry. And um, you could definitely, you know, leave them sit here for a few minutes while you work on something else before you put them in the container because um, I don't think they would last as long if they were too wet when you put them in there. So I have a ton of these containers. I like the ones from the Dollar Tree, the SureFresh ones. Um, sometimes you can get five in a pack for a dollar, but usually they're four in a pack for a dollar. I do have some Ziploc ones left. Um, so I just go ahead and fill however many, you know, I can fill with these and then stick them in my refrigerator. Normally I would do this in a spot where I had more room, but I have the camera over here. Um, so this is kind of how I fill them and then just stick them in the lid. And you can just, you know, stack them up until you're ready to put them all in the fridge. Makes it super easy. This doesn't take long at all. I use these when I go to the gym a lot and that way I don't have to sit and wash them before I go so okay so I have six dishes of grapes Okay, I have all of my cucumbers and carrots cut for the week, and then these were the ones that I cut yesterday. I just put them in a separate container um, so that I can eat those first. Okay, now I'm just cutting the cantaloupe. Almost done. Okay, I have all of my cantaloupes set to go in the dishes. I'm not sure how many it'll fill up. I have a few extra dishes as well. Okay, so I have six of these, and then I still have that other cantaloupe to um, cut later in the week. All of my fruit is all set in here as well. I hope this was helpful to you guys. I know a couple of you asked me to do a video like this, um, so let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching.